Alexandra Melnikov, welcome to the camp. We are excited to hear your lecture now. What is the subject? Uh, my subject is uh, my confusion when I judge the WDSF competition. But in the first part, I'm very proud of the couples who danced. But when I judge system uh, 2.1, criteria, technical quality, sometimes I don't know what to judge because couples didn't follow their uh, basic principles. They're doing great job, they're moving, they're turning, they're swaying, they have great choreography, but they are, for example, in the wall, they never use the lowering and the rise. In the tango, they're not always using the right action. They explode themselves for me, not always could be the same. So there was much development in standard dancing in the last two or three years? Definitely, I think our standard in WDSF uh, improved so much. It's so enjoyable to watch our couples, a uh, high quality, really high quality. It means we have uh, great teachers and uh, great students. What will be the development in the next one or two years? Uh, it's difficult to say. Actually, we have to analyze what we have now. And I think we, as a, uh, trainers, uh, we have to speak uh, more often together and discuss about future developments. Because each individual uh, teacher has got their ideas. Uh, maybe it's a good for individual dancers, dancing, but uh, for the future development in the WDSF, I think all best trainers or experienced trainers should sit together and speak about that. Perhaps this is uh, a good platform at the camp. Here are some very good trainers and perhaps you can sit together <laughs> and think about it. I think I look forward actually tonight and tomorrow to speak my, with uh, my colleagues and uh, discuss about it. I think this is a great place and thank you very much to the German Federation, to the organizers for having such a great opportunity to be in, I think, in the uh, most beautiful place and I think uh, most uh, valuable place because in this training camp we have uh, uh, most trainers who is actually produce uh, great dancers. Thank you very much. I have the honor to present you the second man who helps us from the beginning. Every year, eight years now, he is with us. Please welcome Sasha Melnikov. My microphone is oh, working, working, yeah. So I'm very happy to be in here. As, uh, uh, right, a normal procedure in the beginning of the year when uh, you have got the invitation from the organizers is like a thank you and really want to go there, meet great dancers, best dancers in the world, great colleagues, to share the information, to spend time together, to speak about developments of the dancing. I think this is very, very necessary for us for people who actually supposed to create future of the dancing. And uh, today uh, I have, I want to present to you Alexei Gluchov and Anastasia Glazunova who will helping me during the, my a little lecture. I think this uh, very, very potential couple, very elegant, beautiful, very technical, very musical and uh, we will see what could be happened in the future. So, my subject will be quite simple. Today, I want to share my feeling with you. And we will see what will be happened, what answer I will get from you later on. Uh, when I watch WDSF uh, big competitions, where you can see best couples from the world, I'm very impressed by the level, I think in uh, five days, standard level in WDSF, uh, growing so much, it's so interesting to watch and very, very difficult to judge. And as a teacher, I feel very proud to see such a great uh, presentation from the couples. 
As a judge, I'm very, very confused. Because when I have to judge system with the system 2.1, technical quality, I'm confused. It's difficult to find, of course, can you imagine six couples, best couples in WDSF, top six couples, they will never make such a terrible mistake like go from promenade with the hill. They will never use their arms so much to pull his partner out the balance. Yes? But when I watch walls, for example, I miss lowering and rising. I miss footwork when the couples move, go from the promenade. I miss clear positions, not very much. But I'm still missing. Mostly I'm missing uh, lowering and rising. It means couples who developed their skill to dance such a difficult choreography because they are moving uh, themselves like a great, um, how to say, not a ballet dancer, just ballet dancer. They are so flexible, they're so sensitive. They can do such a great attitudes in the choreography, but sometimes they forget forgotten about basic principles. And today, I would like with this beautiful couple to go through the simple things. Yeah, we will show you what normally we see on the competition, and we will try to put this basic stuff to their routines and. Uh, so we will see. But I just want to remind you, in dancing, as you know, we have four major actions. This is a movement forward or backwards with a certain preparation as a dancer. If it will be just a person from the outside, they will walk like that. But dancers should work in a different way. They should be and should understand or and be aware of the compression standing leg center when they move the, their weight yes rotation and rotation comes from the spine sway which comes from the ankle knee center and the spine Yes, and most important, because we have four swing dance, this uh, lowering, rising, ball of foot rising, rising, lowering, rising, ball of foot rising. And this part uh, you can see very rare today in the walls. Semi-finalists and finalists, they are moving great, but I cannot really see it lowering, rising in the end of the uh, one and extension from the standing leg yeah so now i will ask alexey and anastasia to dance their routine and i will ask them to dance of course not a bad way because today is a point not to ask bad and good point is how to to create great dancing, beautiful choreography, choreography with the basic stuff in. So you will help us judges to be more correct with our judgment. Yeah? So if we will dance part of your routine in walls, and can you just slightly enjoy yourself, but do right stuff. Don't make it crazy. Don't make a crazy action, yes?
time, yeah? maybe from here. So you, you can see everything is smooth, nice, flexible. But as a judge now, I see it's a lot of rotation, a lot of sways, pick up moment, but I cannot see enough lowering and rise. And to be honest, progressive movement. Because as I said before, we have four major action. Main is movement. And after in the walls, I would like to see lowering and rising. Afterwards, rotation and swaying. And clear choreography, clear story in choreography. So when I understand what is happening. Yeah? Can we be more aware of the lowering, rising? Yes? And from here again. L1, L1, two, L1, two, L1, two, L1, L1. Okay, when I start to count, it was little help for Alexei and Anastasia. Um, just want to remind you, when I show to you lowering and rising, when we low, when we never low this way. When we low, we always slow this way. From the ankle to the ball of foot, and I use my knee. I will never put my hips forward. So basically, I cannot dance now. Yeah? So, lowering, rising, ball of foot, rising, ball of foot. Sorry, lowering, yeah? So, <clears throat> to make more clear, I will ask Alexei and Anastasia to dance basic figures. Natural turn, impetus, progressive chasse, Quick on open reverse, ending to the promenade. Yes? And progressive chasse to the unnatural turn. Yeah? So uh, I would like you now to be aware of the start uh, lowering in the one, in the end of the one, start to rise. S stay longer on your standing leg. Yes? without music. And, and uh, one, two, three. 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 And uh, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Uh, one, two, 
3. Yeah? Did you see it? Did you saw it? Sorry, I still have to improve my English. <laughs> Can we try to dance one more time in a slow motion? Uh, one, two, three. One. Start to rise and continue to move. And uh, one. Sorry, sorry for that. Now start to rise, press and continue to move. And uh, one. Start to rise and continue to move. And one and start to rise and continue to move. One press, start to rise and continue to move. One start to rise and continue to move. And one start to rise and continue to move. So, why I'm so much concentrated on this action? Because if we will speak about ballet dancers. When they stand, make a preparation, they start to, to jump, yeah? they use strong legs. If they want to move forwards, they use the strong legs. They are not using the middle part. And sometimes top dancers, they are cheating. They are using upper part. And for the judge, for me, Difficult to read the clear timing. So why am rise this tema today? I want you dancers and teachers make more clear for us, for the judges, because judges, the ones, this is the one people who are actually making the result, and this is very, very important. Yes. Okay. Now we will dance with the music. We will say a right one, correct one. one more time and I will not count. Only four? Most power supposed to be here. Yes? All action, power should be in the low part. So our, our legs should work lifting us. Yes? When power slightly moves to the middle, my coordination, if I will walk, will be like that. If I will put power a little bit down, ding, coordination will be different. Up here, down there. And if I want to move, just move without any dance, I have to use my legs to move myself. If I move, reduce the power in the legs and start to play with the upper part, part of the body. It will be look completely different. So, now I would like to ask our beautiful couple, 
Alexei and Anastasia, to put slightly higher sense of gravity, just slightly higher, and enjoy in the upper part of the body. Okay? Same routine. Of course, in their level, it's so difficult to do something wrong because they train to do it right things, yes? Um, okay, can you really try to put the weight very high? Because you was very correct, because now you was very correct, because your timing in the legs, down action, upper action was very good. You increase your uh, dynamic movement through the spine, Sway, it was very beautiful, very good. Yes, now I really want you to dance a little bit. Ignore the correct action, technical quality. Enjoy. We will see what could be happened. <laughs> so you really have to push yourself to dance a uh, bad one. Okay, uh, some couples dance like that in the early rounds. But what I want to just to tell you, or to ask you actually, did you like it previous one when uh, Alexei and Anastasia danced? Previous, when they was very correct in the leg action, you can see weight connection. When in the first step, they was there, they start to rise, they create a great torsion, beautiful shape with constant movement, with a great characteristic, yeah? So fullness, we can see fullness. Most time when couples dance in the semi-final and final, very good couples, they're quite tough. They're really quite tough. They're ignoring, they're so busy to show themselves presentation, movement, turn, and me as a judge, I really feel um, abused because I have to judge, but it's difficult to judge. These important parts, yeah? Technical parts. So now, um, I hope it will be enough time to catch uh, tango. In tango, in our days, when you watch couples, they're so powerful, they're so emotional, great choreography. We are talking about top 12, but they look all the same, same, no story. Can you imagine? Beautiful choreography, great, very clever, but no story. Everything is bang, dong, wang, and all action mostly comes from the upper part of the body. Either, or I prefer to see some difference. First of all, as a teacher, I would like to see couples which, when they use the most strongest muscles down there, when they are connecting to the floor, when they, if they want to change from one place to another, when they want to change the timing, they have to apply to the standing leg, use the big muscles. In our days, I see beautiful shape, a lot of pre uh, presentation, very charismatic face, but mostly action comes from the upper part of the body. And everything what they are doing, very good, but looks the same. Yeah? So, 
can we change the attitude? Can we be certain in tango? Certain, surprising, playing, smooth and change. Instead of every time create a bang, dong, dunk, dunk, cha cha cha. So for, for, for me, as a judge again, I'm asking you also listen us, judges, when we are watching. We want to see the difference. We want to see the personality. Not, not only physical performance and accents. We would like to see the story. So now I will ask Alexei and Anastasia dance their tango. And after I will ask them to dance in a different way, more sudden, more compact. Maybe it will be different, not like you normally dance, but we will try, we will see it. So let's dance with the music or without music? With the music, great. I say Saturn. Yeah, Alexi, can I just move a little bit? I will use the chance to dance together with Anastasia. When I said Saturn, so weight, position, Okay. As much as I can today. And now, I would like Alexei to create action, internal, and it's kind of isolation between upper part of the body and the lower part with the breathing sensor. But it should be fast, change the atmosphere, change the position, yeah? Can you do these simple steps first? And after we will move this idea to your choreography. Thank you. You see, it's more story now, because it's in internal. This is uh, what I really want to see when great couples, they should produce a story. Yeah? Me, as a dancer, I should say, like a, in the former time, when it was a, a black cinema without any color and voice, when they are So a lot of strategy with the action. So all this action should be done in here because their bodies, they are bodies are 
must speak with each other. And of course, we must have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful position. That body, not the arms. Don't make an accent only with the arms. Because when you are young, you still can do it. When you are getting a little bit mature, it's better to use a technique. Yeah? So now, <laughs> I would like you to dance the same choreography what you danced before, first time, yeah? but with the attitude dialogue. Not so much outside, mostly inside. With the music. And of course, some of you will say now, but this does not look competitive. It could be look competitive. You remember what I said to you? We have, okay, now I will say three action, because if we are talking about tango, we keep the level, but we still create a movement. We create a turn, but we will not create a sway. Action, reaction, yeah? So, if we can do similar thing, and also show the difference between action in one place. Get way to the standing foot and move. Yeah? So when you move, uh, do these forward steps with the music. So it was a little bit different. It was what uh, was missing. What do you think? You are judges now. You not judge for WDSF, but you are judges because all of you, you are very experienced people. You are uh, learn dancing. I think it was very good. I think it was very good. So you should say 10.0. Very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. OK. So do we have one minute? Yes, I have. Very good. So before we will finish the lecture, uh, I just want to remind to the best dancers in the world, and I think uh, in WDSF, we have definitely, in standard, we have one of the best dancers in the world. They are so educated. And I'm very proud from time to time uh, give private lessons, or like today, have uh, such a great dancers as the helpers uh, for the lecture. And when we communicate with them, we also developed ourselves. When we as the teachers have some crazy, good but crazy ideas, we always apply and give these ideas to the great dancers. And uh, I would like to say I'm really appreciated very much this time 
And I would like to say thank you very much to the professional and best professional and amateur couples who give us chance as the teachers, trainers to develop. Because any great idea without great material, when we say material, it means dancers who are willing to express these ideas will never be alive. And I think dancers who we have now close to us, who are sitting in this hall, they are willing to uh, push these ideas through. Why it's so interesting to watch uh, WDSF standard? With, with the Latin, I have a question, and we have to speak with our colleagues, because as a judge, uh, I also have some difficulty to judge, and I would like to speak with the colleagues. But in the standard, uh, I, I know 100% uh, couples who is dancing in our days, in the semi-final and final, they are great couples. So, I will use the opportunity to say thank you very much to the organizers who is inviting me and all best trainers from all over the world in standard Latin, hip hop, samba, salsa, <laughs> and give us opportunity to share our knowledge with you. So thank you very much. See you next year. Bye-bye. Thank you very much to Alexei and Anastasia. Can you make a bow? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sasha.